The podcast that we do, Happy Hour, has got a brand new studio and it's the first time I'm getting to see it. So I thought I'd take you along to have a look behind the scenes. Oh, bumpy car. These are my confessions. Usher. <laughs> hey, gringo. Hey, gringo. Genie's back, baby. What's this area, Stevie? This is the area where everything makes things work. And I currently can't get things to work. So the producer sits, yeah? Yeah. But I'm trying to figure it all out. The cameras say they're offline, but they're on. And I can't think of why they're offline. Jack, tell me about the vision for this studio. <clears throat> well, we um, we got a lovely uh, set designer called Victoria in, and uh, I just said to her, J -j -j you're, you're the best in the biz, run wild. I've got no experience with building sets. So it's very yellow, it's very yellow. <clears throat> There's a little bit of pink and blue. Uh, I was imagining it a bit LA Noir, if you know what that means, Robbie. I do know what that means. Like Vice City. Yeah, and I've got Dick and Dom in the bungalow. Is it expensive building a studio, Jack? Let's just say, why do you think we're doing a second tour, Robbie? <laughs> no, it actually was. It was actually mental expensive. Not the set design manageable, but all the tech stuff, very, very pricey. Because um, they were just like, do you want the best of everything? And I thought, do you know what? The happy hours, the happy hour listeners deserve that, uh, and they should remember that if we ever do merch. There's a lot of buttons out there on the on the desk. How many of them do you personally know how that they, how they work? If I know one percent of them, that'll be a, I'll be buzzing with that. I literally like the day the guy came in, Tom, the tech guy, came in to show us. I sat in here um, just sending selfies to my mates. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not great. <laughs> what are your initial thoughts? Was the first time you've seen the studio? First time I've seen it in the fresh, in photos and videos, and was here in the early days of the building. I think it's great, really good. It always, and it looks great on camera. I've seen a lot of sets from TV stuff, and they always look a bit rubbish in real life, but good on camera. But this looks good in real life and great on camera. Oh, I think it's fantastic. Love it. Is this my seat then? Is this, this where I'm going to be? This is where you'll be. You'll be next to the guest every single time. Uh, when, when I'm on the guest episodes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and when there's me, you and Stevie, where does Stevie sit? Next uh, to me here? Stevie sits next to me. So I'm always on my own? Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's like you've got your own, so it's like you're a head host. I like it. show my ass off. Why are we doing that? Well you know how, how in life like you can never ever really truly see your own arsehole can you? <laughs> Not truly. Like you, with a mirror it's always going to be. Like here, look at that. <laughs> Is that why you spent all this money on? <laughs> Six figures to see my own arsehole. <laughs> buy the merch. There's no merch when it comes out buy it. <laughs> How do you feel about your new role being like tech man? I'm all right with it when it works. The, I did say to the camera a second ago, I was really struggling. Turned it off and on, <laughs> worked straight away. Work 90% of the time, works every time. Stevie's got the role as a uh, tech man because he's always having to very carefully erase his own hard drives. It'd be quite useful <laughs> doing them here. So this is my view from my seat. That's Stevie over there. Hi, this is my view. No, you're seeing his view still. Jack sits there. Over there we've got a little monitor. It doesn't really show anything of any interest, but it's there in case we need to look at something. Cameras and stuff. Nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Um, you look a bit like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia today. That's what I'm going for. Basically, my hair's rank at the moment. Can we see um, it? It's just, it's just really long and I'm growing it. I want to look like you. Um, but I'm in that awkward stage where I hate it every time I see it. So I just thought for a while, if I just hat it up, 
no one's gonna know. And then one day I'm gonna come in, shave all my beard other than the moustache, have hair exactly like yours. So it's weird because we, we're not wearing headphones anymore. We've, we've decided to make the, the very big decision to not wear headphones. And it's nice and cool. I've got to say, during one episode, Robbie, I got a little bit cold. No sweat. And I was actually close to saying, a bit cold in here. So that's the first episode of the day done. The first episode I have been a part of in this studio. Thoroughly enjoyable. Nice sitting on the other side of the desk. Felt special being just me on that side. Um, seat, I feel like I get a bad back from it. I'm gonna have to work out the best way to set up my seat to, for m maximum comfort, but all in all, good first show. What's that thing behind you, Stevie? Oh, this is Robbie. Oh dear. Go on, you press it. When we're recording here. I'll take that. You, oh, you do it, you do it on yourself. You can do the press. It's not plugged in. <laughs> it's fancy, isn't it? The inside, inside working of a button. Ready? Cables for a button. There are a lot of cables, but it's because it's wireless. Robbie, I'll let you do it. question comes out for the guest. You'll take that, unravel it. I'll check the question. Drop it. <laughs> I'll tell you the question, I'll tell you no lies. Okay, Jack, the question is, mm -hmm. they take a while to unravel, to yeah. be honest. It kills the mood of it. They're a bit of a pain to unravel, aren't yeah. they? My God, it takes so long. Oh, this is a really good question. This one I actually do want to ask a guest. It's the one I wrote. If you had to slap another human, who would you choose? Familiar face in the studio today. <laughs> How are you, John, tour manager? I am very, very well. Very much looking forward to this. And uh, I would say that I'm quite nervous and, and apprehensive. Um, this is not something I've ever kind of done anything like before. So, um, but that's what you should do in life, is you should do something new every once in a while. So. Exactly. We're back on tour again soon. Are you excited? I'm very, very excited about it. Absolutely. Unfortunately, though, I don't believe we get the big bus this time, do we? Nah. Get a little, uh, little party truck. Yeah. But that will be great as well. That will be lovely. And we're going to some lovely, lovely venues. Some Actually, some fabulous venues. Um, so it should be good. And I'm very jealous that you're going to Ireland. And I can't come with you because Guinness with you lot in Ireland would be amazing. It's just finished the second episode of the day with tour manager John. Uh, and it's been lovely being in the new studio. Everything seems to work smoothly. A uh, little ball machine, a little hiccup. Apart from that, it's all good. And it's just a just a nice place to be. Yo, mothers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our look around our delightful new studio. If you want to see us without the studio. Happy Hour, going back on tour very, very soon. Round Sheep Tour, leg two, happyhourlive.co.uk. Hopefully meet a lot of you afterwards. Come and meet us. Hang out. Especially you. Have a beer with us. Meet us at stage door after. Come pub, have a little cum. <laughs> See you in a bit. What? Or a big cum. <laughs>